Do you like living near a downtown where you can just walk or bike to shops, waterfront restaurants, and parks? Then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Sue LaFavi with Ballinger Realty, and if you have any questions along the way, just call, text, or email me. Okay, let's start our tour. I'm just leaving downtown and heading to a community called Pigeon Point. On the right here is part of the University of South Carolina Beaufort campus. You can enjoy many shows and concerts here at the Center for Fine Art. Coming around the corner, I'm going to take a right onto Pigeon Point Road. Pigeon Point is an absolutely charming neighborhood filled with large, majestic live oaks draped in Spanish moss. Looking at this map, you can see it's located just north of Beaufort, just a mile or so from historic downtown. It's a very eclectic neighborhood with everything from charming cottages, many which are used for Airbnbs, to gorgeous waterfront properties like these. And it's got everything in between. Prices here range from about $300,000 to well over a million dollars. There's no HOA here, so you can just park your boat in the driveway and have easy access to this neighborhood boat landing and ramp. It has a lovely park to enjoy the outdoors and mingle with friendly neighbors. There's also plenty of playground equipment to, te to keep the kids busy. All right, I'm on my way back to downtown. I'm passing by the famous chocolate tree. All of these sweets are made freshly right here. And just a bit of trivia, this is where Forrest Gump got his chocolates. This inconspicuous purple and green building is Griffin Market. This is my husband and I's favorite Italian restaurant. Here's Low Country Produce Market and Cafe on the right, a local favorite for breakfast and lunch. Wren is also a great lunch and dinner spot. Now I'm on the main stretch of downtown on Bay Street. There's lots of cute specialty shops and restaurants. One of my favorites is called Olive the Above. They specialize in high quality olive oils and balsamic vinegars. On the other hand, my dog's favorite is the Rustic Pup, offering all sorts of toys and treats. You'll also find galleries with beautiful coastal artwork from our local artists. And of course, the highlight of downtown is the waterfront park, lined with several delicious restaurants. It's also the venue to most of our festivals, We've got the Shrimp Festival, the Gullah Geechee Festival, the Taste of Beaufort, the International Film Festival, the Dragon Boat, Boat Races, and the biggest of all is the Water Festival, which is 10 full days of fun, food, and entertainment. Now I'm leaving the south end of Bay Street, heading to an area known as 
the depot. Right here, they are building exquisite condos with breathtaking water views. I love these large antebellum homes. These homeowners look across the street to these breathtaking water views. Again, just minutes from downtown, we are now in the depot area. It's called this because back in the day, there used to be a train depot here. Now, it's the local focal point for the popular Spanish Moss walking and biking trail. It's approximately 14 miles long and they continue to expand it. This area is about the same proximity to downtown as Pigeon Point, just on the other side of town. As you can see, there is a wide variety of homes here. Prices range from about 300,000 to 500,000. Okay, one last stop. I'm going back through downtown and heading over the bridge. Right at the bottom of the bridge, now on Ladies Island, is a new construction, upscale community called White Hall Plantation. As you can see, they are still putting the infrastructure in place here. The plan is to complement the character of historic downtown Beaufort and create a gorgeous, walkable neighborhood. It will include residential homes, townhomes, some retail space, and a 10-acre park to enjoy on the waterfront. Here's a look at their map to give you an idea of the layout. Okay, that concludes my tour of neighborhoods very close to downtown Beaufort. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, please call, text, or email me. Thanks.